School Chromebooks are known for being slow, unreliable, and locked down, but they don't have to be that way. Today, I'll be showing you how to run Linux, specifically Debian, on your school Chromebook using a project called Shimboot. Shimboot allows us to flash a full Linux distro onto a USB and make them bootable on your Chromebook. So to get started, here's what you'll need. You'll need a personal computer running either Windows or Mac OS. You'll need your school Chromebook. You'll need at least some knowledge of Linux because Linux is an operating system where if anything breaks, you're kind of expected to know how to fix it yourself. And then you'll need a USB drive or SD card. For this, I prefer using an SD card because it doesn't stick out as much as a USB so people don't look at you weirdly in class. Also, make sure that you have a fast USB or SD card because we're going to be installing a full Linux distro on it and we're going to be running it off of the USB. And we don't want the USB or SD card to be the bottleneck of our system. So to get started, you'll need to go into your school Chromebook and type in chrome colon slash slash version into the URL bar. You'll be taken to a screen which looks something like this. You want to look for a the word stable channel and see what comes after it. For me, it says DD. DD. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not even pronounce this properly, but yeah, whatever word comes after that, that's your board name. So if you have any of the board names listed on screen, then you should be good to go. But if not, then you might you might be out of luck. Now hop onto your personal computer and head over to this GitHub repository linked in the description. Find the shimboot zip file for the board that you have. Once it's downloaded, we need a way to flash this file onto our USB or SD card. For the purpose of this video, I'll be using the Chromebook Recovery Utility, but you could also use something like Balina Etcher or Rufus if that works for you. So head over to the Chrome Web Store and find an extension called the Chromebook Recovery Utility. And once you install it, open it up. Then click on the little gear icon in the top right and click Use Local Image. Select the file that you just downloaded, then select your USB drive, click Continue and let it flash. Once it's done flashing, eject it and then go back to your Chromebook. Put your Chromebook into recovery mode by holding Escape, Refresh and Power. Then hit Ctrl D to enter developer mode, then hit confirm. Once you do that, hit escape refresh power again and plug in your USB. It should automatically detect the USB and run the shimboot bootloader. On this screen, you want to hit the number three and then enter because that's the partition that we want to boot off of. Once you do that, you should boot into a Debian login screen And the default password is going to be user and user. And once you do that, you should come to the XFCE desktop environment. Congratulations, you've got Debian running on your school Chromebook, but it's not over yet. For my DD board, whenever I would try to connect to a Wi-Fi network, it would just refuse to do so. To solve this problem, you have to run these commands in your terminal. Once you've done that, we need to actually set up our partitions in a way that our system can run properly. To do this, type in lsblk, or list block for short, into the terminal to see which device is your Chromebook's internal storage and which one is your USB or SD card. Once you've figured that out, we want to expand the fourth partition so that it fills up the entire disk. To do this, run sudo grow part slash dev, and then whatever the name of your USB or SD card is, and then add a four to the end of that so to make sure that we're uh, changing the fourth partition. Then we want to resize it by running sudo resize2fs slash dev slash sd whatever to expand the file system. And once you've done that, you can change the root password uh, and regular user password by running sudo password root and password user to change the default password.
and boom, you've got a fully working Linux distro running fully off of your USB. You can install a modern desktop environment like KDE if you don't like the boring look of XFCE, but that's out of the scope for this video, and I think that you guys can figure out how to do that yourself. From now on, every time your Chromebook boots up, you'll have to hit Escape, Refresh Power, hit the number 3, and then hit Enter to boot into Linux. One of the cool features of Shimboot is that it, you can also boot into a spoofed, unenrolled version of Chrome OS by booting into the first or second partition. Now keep in mind there are some kinks and issues that need to be sorted out. Uh, I'll list a few of them. First of all, there's no audio on the DD board, but you can use Bluetooth headphones. Uh, there's also no sleep functionality, so as soon as you close your Chromebook's lid, it'll just shut down. Also, if you try to charge your Chromebook while you're booted into Linux, it'll charge like really slowly. Uh, so to charge your Chromebook properly, you'll need to have it shut down. You also can't run flat packs. So if you're gonna try to run flat packs for any of your apps, it just won't work. But still, this is a way better experience compared to Chrome OS. And Linux just opens so many possibilities with what you can do on your school Chromebook. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing, leaving a like, and I'll see you all next time.